Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, fluorescence. Um, fluorescence is one of these really weird, I don't know what that is, don't look at that. It's one of those really weird phenomena that you find in gemstones, um, and diamonds have them, and it's a point of contention. So, what is fluorescence? Pardon me while I turn out the light. So, here are those diamond rings. You see how that one's glowing? You see how that one's glowing? That one? That one too. So this is a little UV light, right? It's just a little handheld UV light and you flick it off and on and you check diamonds for fluorescence. So with regular light, you can still see it because I picked out some examples that are pretty lit up. Um, but you can't really tell with the naked eye, can you? So that's the kind of discussion. Um, fluorescence is something that we look for. We look for it on our lab reports from the GIA. It's usually listed at the bottom right here, right? Fluorescence. This one is, has very strong blue. There's five grades when you're talking about fluorescence. There's none, faint, medium, strong, and then very strong. And then when you get past medium, they start telling you the color. It's usually blue in the case of diamonds, but it can actually be yellow and pink and other colors. Um, this diamond, for example, is a yellow diamond, but it actually has, it's this one, no. Anyway, this one also, this one actually has blue fluorescence, even though it's a yellow diamond. That's not considered the best color of fluorescence for a yellow diamond. Honestly, you'd prefer it to have none. Um, and then with white diamonds, you usually prefer also for them not to have fluorescence, but this is a Tiffany and Company, and trust me, it has fluorescence. And this diamond is an ESI2 triple X and also has fluorescence. So it's not necessarily that the diamonds are bad if they have fluorescence. It's just one of those things that you take into account and it's another one of the identifying characteristics of the stone, like cut, like color, like carat weight. You care because it's part of the fingerprint and the ID of that particular diamond. Um, where does fluorescence come from? It tends to come from um, trace elements inside the stone or mineral blah 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 whatever you want to call it so for example this one is my faint green i've talked about this one before it has fluorescence usually fluorescence comes from um boron or, or um nitrogen i can't remember exactly why but it's basically something inside the stone that's causing it to fluoresce do all diamonds fluoresce no like 75 percent of them don't um but maybe a quarter to a third do to a certain extent um do synthetic diamonds fluoresce yes but differently mm. So this is something we look for, catalog, pay attention to. In some cases, it devalues the stone. In other cases, it helps the stone. If you have a cape-colored diamond like a JKL or something, um, a little bit of fluorescence sometimes helps counteract that color and balance it out. Can you see fluorescence to the naked eye? No. Um, you really might see it in very strong sunlight, and that's really when, what you're looking for when you're talking about detracting from the value. So last thing is I'll show you how if you have a cluster of diamonds, like these earrings are fantastic, turn out the lights, some of them fluoresce and some of them don't. Pretty cool, huh?